Hello and welcome to today's quick video on how to authenticate an ST DuPont lighter. For those currently trying to get into the collecting phase or those who just want to brush up a little bit on their authentication skills, here we have two Lynch 2 lighters. We have the Maduro on the left and just a regular one on the right. Now the first thing that everyone looks at on an ST DuPont lighter online is the serial number. So on the serial number here, you can see that compared to each individual character, nothing is actually perfect. It's not perpendicular and it's not nice. That's a good sign because compared here, if you see the 5, the A, and the D right here, they're not perpendicular. If they are, then that's a sign of a fake. So we want to make sure that nothing is perfect due to the hand stamping that's done at the factory. Another way that we can identify an authentic SD DuPont lighter is by the actual refill cap. Now, at the factory, the inside of the refill caps are actually hand-painted with a corresponding color code to what gas you should be using to refill it. Now, this one's kind of hard to see because of the lighting as well as that this is actually a gold-colored gas cap. I'll do my best to show it off here. But the codes are gold, red, blue, or green. If the gas cap shown in hopefully the Etsy or eBay or private cell doesn't have any painted color codes inside, it could be a good sign that that is indeed a fake lighter. Another thing to look forward to is this nice little detail inside of here. As you can see on the top here where you're actually lighting it above the flint, it's nice and smooth. It's not sharp or precise as to per se, because remember, these things are handmade. So on the fakes, you'll see that the changes in curvature as well as angle are very sharp compared to the smoothness that you saw on that. Of course, on other lighters, you also want to look for the ST DuPont tree leaf. These might be missing on some models and also some models may not actually contain these, like older lighters, such as right here, but it still does have the stamp on the right side. Be mindful, there are many stamps that ST DuPont had used throughout the years, so just kind of use your own judgment when looking at those. If the lighter contains the first three character combinations you see here, run far away. It's not a real one, and it never will be. So finally, the top three tips that you should be doing to protect yourself on the gray market for the ST DuPont lighters. First is limited edition lighters do not sell cheaply. Legit versions go for thousands upon thousands of dollars. If you find a 007 lighter going for $200 in pristine condition, it's obviously a fake. Not only that, but limited edition lighters do not have serial numbers. Since they are a limited run, they should actively have a number say 2,000 total, it should have a number like 1,816 out of 2,000 on the bottom of it, not a regular serial number. Another thing that the scammers like to use to their advantage is the benefit of the doubt maneuver. They'll take good pictures of the top, front, back, and side to side, but they'll actively avoid showing the underside of the lighter in pictures or in video. That being said, if you do think that one's genuine, ask the seller to take a good, clear picture of the underside. If they actively give you crappy products or crappy pictures to where you can't denote the serial number and check to see if it's genuine, just pass it on. I know the temptation is there, but it's not a good deal for a good lighter if it turns out to be a fake. Additionally, if you're still unsure after seeing the serial number in its entirety whether or not the lighter itself is actually genuine, ask for the seller to take off the refill cap and take a picture on the inside. Make sure that you can clearly see the color code inside. If there's no color code inside of the cap, then it's 100% a fake, as SD DuPont lighters have to come with a color-coded cap.